Hi, this is Beth Syerson, creator of Singer's Notebook. I'd like to walk you through the digital version of Singer's Notebook for you in a brief demonstration. This is a uh, database system, so singers can keep track of all the songs they've sung, songs they've heard, songs they want to sing, all their teachers, venues, ensembles, directors, uh, composers, so there's so many different things to keep track of. And since it's a database, all the information links from one thing to the next. If you look at the top third of the screen, there are these light colored tabs. And this is where you're gonna go to grab the categories you're interested in working on or looking at. The main tab, and I've put it in capital letters, is songs and pieces. So we're gonna click that. And I'm gonna show you a song that we did this weekend that I input earlier. The song in number one here is Let's Call the Whole Thing Off. You say tomato and I say tomato, that song. It's from a larger work. So the second column are songs that are from a larger work. Shall We Dance was the movie that that came from. We also did a song from the musical Little Women. Someone did something from the opera Carmen. And as you can see, there are some other, other ideas, other songs, but most songs are just standalone songs. So you won't always fill in something from that column. The next column is for composer arranger. George Gershwin was the composer of Let's Call the Holding Off. His brother Ira was a lyricist, English language. Opus BWV number is left blank. Some classical pieces mainly will have some sort of identifying number you can put there. Instrumentation, voice and piano. I forgot to put in the key and I don't have the music in front of me, but I could put in the key. That is particularly helpful for singers if they wanna remember what key they sang a piece in for an audition or for a concert, if they wanna re repeat that same key or not. Uh, there's a little checkbox here if you want to check that you'd like to perform this someday. I don't need to check this box because I already did. Uh, it's not my favorite piece, so I won't check that. The song rating is uh, here. You can rate the song how well you like the song on that scale. And here's where you say what you like about the song. I wrote, I love the catchy lyrics and I love the swagger of Gershwin. In this column, audio, video, PDF, etc., you can attach just about any digital piece of information here. Videos, audio, a Gmail, Google Photos, you can attach there. So there's so many things. You can put videos of your performance or a YouTube video, PDF of lyrics. This is the public performance that we sang it in, in uh, an event called Music Under the Stars we did this weekend. Um, this large works, I think, is duplicated. Uh, it also came from the movie, Is uh, the larger work, Shall We Dance, is also a movie. So I put it in that column as well. If I had practiced that in a specific practice session, I could list it there. Performances I attended, Music Under the Stars, actually played and uh, just listen to some of the pieces in Music Under the Stars. I don't have any diction notes for that song, but if I did, it would go there. And if we sing that song at an outreach event, like singing for someone in a hospital or for a charity event, that would go there. Now, if I click on any of these uh, highlighted um, words or phrases, it will take us to uh, that tab, basically, and it will show us more information. So you can dig deeper. George Gershwin, Nationality, US, you can click to add other countries or choose a different country here. You can add your own countries as well if the one you want to use is not listed. Birth date and death date, genres that the composer wrote in, Broadway, jazz, classical, 20th century is what I put for Gershwin, but you could add others. Uh, you can add as many genres as are appropriate for that composer. Uh, you can make it your favorite composer. You can write what you like about them in general. Uh, you can link, this actually will link automatically, but I can show you how to link a piece. You just go find it. Oops, it's all mixed up because it's not alphabetized. So I will just write, let's call, and it's thinking, there it is. So now it's linked. There's a couple images of Mr. Gershwin. You can just download those very, very easily if you already have a picture on your computer. If you wanna go search for one, I love going to this little web, in, web images and then just search for his name and it will just pick up a bunch of images right there that are um, copyright free that you can just use anytime you want. And you can upload more if you'd like your, oh, there he is, a little older Gershwin. And then click upload and now we'll have three pictures of him. Uh, these, uh, this icon here with the, uh, it looks kind of like a bookshelf next to exercises and etudes. 
that you can add more links to other tabs. Um, I don't think Gershwin wrote any exercises, but if he did, you could link it here. Large works, he wrote the Shall We Dance, and among other things, but that's the only large work I have right now. Movies and TV, Shall We Dance, compositions I wrote. Hmm, I didn't write anything by Gershwin. <laughs> Songs and pieces, so kind of winds around again. So um, any of these things that are highlighted, you can click on to dig in deeper. And you, for instance, if um, under instrumentation, if besides voice and piano, if you performed this with a choir, you could click choir and you can add as many different instrumentations as there are for that piece that you would like to keep track of. So here's all the pieces on the left column title. You can reorder them, sort A to Z. You can, uh, you can filter, let's see, you can filter just the title or just the composer that contains anything by Gershwin, either of the Gershwins evidently. And oh, with that filter, there's only one, oops, I don't need two filters. With that filter, there's only one piece. So if you wanted to filter out only songs you've ever performed in English, only songs for choir or so and so, you can filter by so many different levels and, and things like that. You can get rid of that filter just by clicking the X. And there they all are again. So on another day, I will videotape some other screen screenshots of my own database so you can see what is all available. Uh, the autobiography tab is particularly important to me because I think this kind of keeping data is important to understand who you are and what you like and what you're working on. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, contact me through my website, bethsiverson.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.